Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I do my acrylic beach pour. I'm going to be using Floetrol, a little bit of silicone. In video 10, I showed you how to mix that. And this is Americana Honey Brown, Craft Smart Ocean Breeze, Americana Yellow Ochre, Craft Smart Champagne Pearl, Craft Smart pale blue and I'm also using phthalo blue and white. So now I'm going to tap in some push pins into the corner of my canvas. In a few weeks after the project has dried I'm gonna do another video and show you how I embellish with resin and real seashells, starfish, and sand dollars. So I'm just lightly tapping the pins into the corner of the canvas with this little tool that I stole from my kitchen. That way when you set the canvas down, it's not sitting in the paint. Now I'm going to turn it at an angle, get a pencil and just mark out a little line to help see where my beach and my ocean begin. Just a little guideline. So now I'm just going to start getting my cups ready to pour and I'm going to start making layers using very little dark blue. Dark blue will take over your whole pour. I used about two drops of silicone in each color including the white. So I'm just going to do a layer of blue and then a layer of white and then blue again. It doesn't have to be in any kind of order, but just keep some white in between and use very little dark blue. This is an eight by 10 canvas. In the end, I ended up using way too much paint. If I can go back and do it again, I wouldn't fill the cups up to the top. Now I'm going to start preparing my golds and my browns and I'm doing the same thing. Just layering a color with white and then another color on top with white again. Okay guys, so this could get a little messy, so make sure you have your gloves on. I am terrible at keeping my gloves on. And now I'm going to start pouring. Like I said, the cups are a little bit overfilled. Try not to overfill your cups. I'm going to start with the ocean. And I'm just going to go back and forth, little squiggly lines, however you want to do it. So 
So now that I have that side mostly covered, I'm going to start tilting. This will make sure that I cover my sides and it also helps produce cells. You can see where the dark blue, the little bit that I used is popping out. It's really pretty. And then you're going to want to take your torch and torch it up a little bit. It pops all of the bubbles that can dry with little dents all over your painting and it also helps bring the cells out. And now I'm just taking a little bit of the drippings and making sure that my sides are covered up. I think the color combo is very pretty. So now I'm going to start pouring my sandy beach area. And I'm just going to go right up to the line of the ocean. Now I'm going to hit it with a torch a little bit. Now here again, I'm just taking from the drippings and making sure that I have my sides covered up. Now I'm going to take my white straight from the squirt bottle and just make a line right where the beach and the sand meet. And now I'm going to take a little popsicle stick and just give it a little swipe to create some cells. So guys, I normally do a regular recording where I talk through my video, but I'm having some complaint about background noise. I do not have a door on my art studio. We went through Hurricane or Irma last year and I'm still under repairs. So I'm doing a voiceover. That's why it sounds weird. I'm going in and out. So now I'm just blowing with my straw, the waves right over the blue. Don't blow too hard, very gently. Then you wanna turn it around and blow some of the waves into the sandy beach area. So I want to add a little more white. And then I'm blowing it out again.
and then I want to hit the white parts with the torch and that will separate the colors and give the lacing effect and I'm just going to keep blowing at it and torching it until I get it where I want it. And then I'm going to take a stick or a toothpick and drag a little bit of the white into the sandy beach. And I'm going to do just a little bit more blowing and torching until I get it exactly where I want it. Okay guys, so I got it to where I like it. I'm happy with it. I'm gonna put it aside and let it dry for three weeks. I know, three weeks, right? That's crazy. But that's how long it takes. I'm gonna give you some up close pictures, a little video, and I'll be back in three weeks to show you how I clean off the silicone and embellish it with resin and real seashells, starfish, and sand dollars. I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. See you later.